Good morning and welcome to Living Local 15. I'm your host, Jessica Williams. On today's show, I am joined by the Urban League of Fort Wayne to learn about the diversity initiative of their organization. We spice up reading with the Winter Spark Challenge from the ACPL. And today is Women's Wealth Wednesday with Foster Financial. That and more starting right now. Fashion, food, and fun. You're watching Living Local 15 with your host, Jessica Williams. The Urban League of Fort Wayne is a premier organization that secures socioeconomic access and opportunities for all citizens. And joining me today is Aisha Arrington, who is the president and CEO. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Thank <laughs> you for joining me. So let's just get started. Let the people know, what is the Urban League? Well, the Fort Wayne Urban League has been here since 1920. So wow. for over 100 years, we've been serving our community. Community. Mm -hmm. It began uh, when African American people were leaving the Jim Crow South to northern states looking for jobs and uh, housing and mm -hmm. really opportunity. Mm -hmm. So we've been here for a while and our mission has stayed really consistent with that. Yes, and so as you all have different initiatives that serve the community and provide opportunities, can you give me a rundown of the different services that you offer? Sure. Um, one thing that I want to point out is that the National Urban League every year does a state of black Americans report mm -hmm. and so that report really guides um, our services um, and helps us concentrate on our mission of why we're even here. Mm -hmm. That report illustrates even in 2023's report that there are disparities when it comes to income, wealth, mm -hmm. um, social equity for African American mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. um, and, and, and in our community here too of Fort Wayne mm -hmm. and so we use use that report to sit down and really have some hard conversations of what we need to do to help close those gaps. And right. every year, 2023 is our goal <laughs> to close those gaps. Yes. You know, what a world would look like where there are no equality gaps. Right. Um, programming with the Fort Wayne Urban League um, this year for 2023, we've got some really exciting things. Uh -huh. uh, one is our block club project. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to pick eight South Side neighborhoods that will each get a thousand dollars to beautify their block. Oh, that's um, nice. It's an initiative that the Urban League has been doing for decades. Mm -hmm. um, it'll be the first time that the Fort Wayne Urban League um, brings such a project um, to our area, mm -hmm. but we're really excited about that. Um, we have gotten a lot of calls from grandparents who are raising grandchildren mm -hmm. for a number of reasons, and we're going to start a senior techie program okay. where we'll help those grandparents mm -hmm. and anyone 55 plus learn how to better use electronic devices like cell phones or tablets. Mm -hmm. um, school has changed now and so right. the days of kids bringing papers home to mm -hmm. fill out, it's all on a tablet now. And so mm -hmm. if you're a grandparent trying to help your grandchild right. and you're not comfortable with the tablet, how do you help that kid? Right. So that's a, a, a program that we're excited about. Mm -hmm. We have desk destination ideation uh, program at the Fort Wayne Urban League. Okay, what's and that? it's for anyone who wants to make entrepreneurship a reality. Very nice. So it's six week cohorts mm -hmm. where someone comes and they get support, they get manuals, they have an A to Z of what needs to happen mm -hmm. to create a business or develop a business. Okay. Okay, that's wonderful. And I love, I mean, those initiatives are just so important and relevant right uh -huh. now, yeah. especially with the tech thing, because so much is happening on social media and through websites and just the access mm -hmm. that people have to our youth mm -hmm. and just that protection level first and foremost and knowing how to use security features and how to monitor and just make sure you know what your kids are doing online. Yeah. That's important. And then to your point of the education system and the grading really transferring over to technology and online and Zoom meetings and for kids. Yeah. <laughs> Who would ever thought that a kid would be, I got to go to my Zoom meeting yeah. now, but it's happening. And even mm -hmm. now the pandemic's, um, you know, uh, we've transitioned. There's still that opportunity if a kid is out sick. Okay, well, I can join through Zoom. So 
Things have changed. Oh, they have changed. <laughs> they have changed. And I won't give my age, but I struggle a little too. Not quite in that senior group, but yes. there's been a learning curve. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you, we had a grandmother that came to the Urban League and with her kid's tablet, her grandchild's tablet, mm -hmm. and said, I need to look up her grades. <laughs> and so we were, you know, fiddling around trying to figure right. it out. But we were able to, um, after calling the school and getting passwords and different things, we were able to get her in the system so she could look at her grandchild's oh, grades good. and right. that's really when a light bulb went off like you know that's really a service that the urban league um, could offer our families right. yes okay so let's talk about um, the membership um, mm -hmm. process and who can join the urban league and what is the criteria anyone can join the okay. urban league it's a movement you know <laughs> that's been going on since 1920 and we yes. welcome anyone um, that wants to join a movement that is really uh, working to close those gaps and make the world fair for everyone mm -hmm. um, so if you're interested in membership uh, we will have a membership page um, that will be renewed um, here in January sometime on our website mm -hmm. you can call the urban league at 745-3100 and we can give you a membership form okay. but we've got members Memberships for students for five bucks a, a year, oh, and that nice. student could be a member. Mm -hmm. um, if you're an adult, $45 a year keeps you a, a member of the mm -hmm. Urban League. And really what it does is just we're trying to create a community where we're working all together. Right. And that's really what that membership means. Okay, wonderful. And do you all have any upcoming events? that you'll be throwing this year? Um, no upcoming events that okay. I can share right now, okay. Okay. Uh, but we'll be working on that <laughs> signature gala for 2023. Yes. Uh, we canceled that uh, gala this year mm -hmm. just because we had some changes in leadership. Mm -hmm. And like every non-for-profit, COVID hit hard yes. when it came to coming together and mm -hmm. celebrating. Um, but we're hoping that we can release a date soon okay. um, so that community members understand that we're having a gala this mm -hmm. year and to welcome folks out to celebrate Yes. what we're going to be able to accomplish this year. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you <laughs> Thank so you. much for, for sharing the, this important work that yeah. the organization is doing and opportunities where our viewers can actually participate. Yes. So it's a pleasure to meet Thank you. you. <laughs> Thank you. And if you would like more information about the Urban League of Fort Wayne, we will have the website listed below and we'll be right back. Follow us on social media at Living Local 15. The top of the year is the perfect time to set new reading goals. So we are here at the Allen County Public Library to discuss their new Winter Spark program. And joining me is Mara Honeywell, who is the Youth Services Manager. Hi, oh, Mara. Thanks for coming out today. Yes, I'm happy to be here. I can't wait to tell you about all of the great things that we have to help everyone in our community set some big reading goals for the winter mm -hmm. and to have some fun along yes. the way. Okay, that's so good because, you know, top of the year, I'm sure people are like, Okay, I got to get my list together. Yeah. Yes. But you all are incentivizing the whole thing. So share with me about Winter Spark. Absolutely. So if you were a little jealous of all of the people <laughs> that were saying, oh, I read this many books this year, and right. you set a goal for this coming year that you were going to really dig into reading and have some fun, then this is where you start. Okay. So our winter reading program mm -hmm. is a bingo program this year. Ah, okay. So <laughs> for every 30 minutes that you spend reading, you cross off one of these little squares and who uh -huh. doesn't love to play some bingo, right. have some fun, and have a chance to win some prizes for reading. Right, yes. It's really the best <laughs> thing for everybody. Yeah, so it sounds like it's really super inclusive for the whole family. Absolutely. So the kids, the youth, the adults, the parents, everyone can play this game, right? Yes, this okay. is an all ages program. One of the things that we know is that Kids love to read for prizes, mm -hmm. and so do adults. A lot of us have those really good feelings about, oh, I used to read and I would get that free pizza. Right. So that's exactly what we've got going okay. on here. Okay. So no matter who you are, mm -hmm. there's a chance for you to win some prizes. Okay, so I know your goal, big goal, is to get one million reading minutes. We is would that right? That. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Okay. So check out the bingo card. So how can people participate? So they come and they grab one of these or download it online, share yeah. with me. So there's three ways okay. that you can participate. If you wanna 
really like get in there and cross it off, yeah. come into the library, okay. and pick up one of these bingo cards. Uh -huh. There's activities on the inside, lots of fun information. Okay, you wonderful. can also participate online mm -hmm. at www.acpl.info slash spark. Okay. Or my favorite way to participate is that there's an app through Beanstack oh, nice. that okay. you can just download. Mm -hmm. You can scan your books. You can track your minutes. You can even connect with your friends oh, and have a little competition. Fun. Yes, and yeah. hold each other accountable because it's easy to set a goal and then time rolls by and you're like, oh no, I didn't get to pick back up that book. It's true. And then you always have that one friend who is very committed mm -hmm. to winning. Yes. And <laughs> so that competition element is so much fun. And mm -hmm. someone can say, hey, I read for 27 days in a row. How are you yeah. doing? Yeah. We know that the, the more often people read, it's a habit, right? right. So when you set mm -hmm. time aside, for that relaxation, to learn something new, mm -hmm. to explore a topic that you're interested in. It's time that you set aside and it makes you feel good. That is the way to start off mm -hmm. the year. We want everybody to be carrying that energy through yes. for all of 2023. Yes, and reading just really enhances your knowledge and just your education, because it's so easy. Like I, I get bad sometimes, I'm like, oh, I can just watch the movie of it or it's easy just just to throw on the screen or to listen to a podcast but there's something about connecting with the words through reading that is so exciting yeah. <laughs> I just I just read one of those books that sticks with you and I yeah. think about the characters and I've been talking about it and I'm raising two young kids too okay and I love it when we can read together as mm -hmm. a family they're quiet and oh, I get to have yeah, that time for yeah. myself too. Mm -hmm. They have loved this bingo program mm -hmm. in a way that's really surprised me because mm -hmm. on the inside of this there are activities that they can oh, do. Okay. So my, my kids went through there and they chose the activities that they wanted okay. to do. Mm -hmm. So my son said I want to do the wordle today and my mm -hmm. daughter of course said I want to have a snowball fight with cotton balls. So we did <laughs> oh. those things. Silly <laughs> because fun. family fun mm -hmm. and being together mm -hmm. and that laughter and that joy all of that is what creates lifelong learners, and that's really yeah. what we're about. That's good. That's good. That's good stuff. Okay, so I also have to talk about these books, oh, you yes. know, behind us, because they're so cute and adorable. You pulled out these selections, so share with me about the features. I would love to. Yeah. So I wanted to make sure that you knew about this, because there's there's this nostalgia element to mm -hmm. our winter reading program, which is you track your reading, you win prizes. Mm -hmm. So I have nostalgia about putting in a cassette tape okay and it would ding at the right time uh -huh. to turn the page we don't have those anymore okay. but what we do have are these really awesome read aloud books where oh, a child yes. can direct their reading mm -hmm. so when those this book automatically reads mm -hmm. along and kids it dings and they get to turn the page these are awesome because when kids get to read these, mm -hmm. they're developing that feeling of being empowered mm -hmm. and having control of their reading experience. Okay. They're learning how to turn the pages. And we've got some amazing read aloud selections. Mm -hmm. It's a resource that a lot of people don't even know right. about. Yes, that they still made them. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. amazing. And it helps the kid kind of just make sure that they're comfortable and confident in what they're reading. Yeah. I okay. love the library for all of the different things that yeah. we have. We check out family games from the mm -hmm. library. Yes. We check out puzzles from the library. I'm always mm -hmm. downloading different things, listening to books while I do a puzzle. Yes. It's just such a gift to our community. Yeah, it is, it really is. And I love just how the library is just still such a gem in the community and it's not going anywhere and there's still so much that you all are continuing to offer. Yeah. So thank you so much for sharing oh. about the Winter Spark Thanks program. Thanks for coming today. <laughs> Absolutely. And if you want more information about the Winter Spark program, you can check it out on our website. Remember, it is from now until the end of January. So get to reading and we'll be right back. Living Local 15, proudly driven by the Kelly Automotive Group. This segment sponsored by Foster Financial. 
Today we are back with the new edition of Wealth Wednesday with Foster Financial, but this time with a twist. Every other week we'll be focusing the topic to help women, specifically with their financial planning, so it's Women's Wealth Wednesday. And joining me today is your financial advisor, Caleb Dome, who is the Vice President of Foster Financial. Hi, Caleb. Hi. Welcome back. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, so this is exciting. We're getting our money tips going for the mm -hmm. top of the year, and you are providing your advice to us, which is great. And so I know that focusing on women and their wealth management is super important to you all. So can you share with me why that specific focus? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think, honestly, just over the past few years, I've seen different statistics about this. And just in my own practice, I've seen you know different women come to me, and specifically one stat that kind of stuck with me was 25% of women have mm -hmm. never sought professional financial advice. Oh, really? Which is much higher than the percentage of men who have never sought prof mm. professional financial advice. Mm -hmm. And I think you know part of the reason is that a lot of people assume that um, maybe women aren't as involved in their family's finances or whatever it might be. And I think regardless, we're kind of here to, to provide some of that education for women. Mm -hmm. So um, I think it's important to kind of tailor some of the material to them because at the end of the day, women do control a significant portion of wealth in the United States. And so it's really important that they're well prepared. Yes, and, and really managing that aspect in their households. Mm -hmm. You know, I think about that and the first thing that kind of strikes me is maybe the fact that for so long women were not the primary person working mm -hmm. out you know in the workforce and perhaps because they do manage the checkbooks yeah. <laughs> they already yeah. have that knowledge but it goes deeper in the planning aspect and especially thinking about their retirement and how it can provide for the family and mm -hmm. whole so i think that this is so specific and so wonderful for us to be able to share and so share with me the importance of sound financial advice and not just you know random things that may be out there yeah, I, th I think that kind of plays to the fact that, that we typically want people to seek out a fiduciary, which is mm -hmm. somebody who is legally required to act in their client's best interest. Okay. I think people, you know, sometimes have a bad taste in their mouth if they, you know, have worked with maybe a commission broker or something in the past. Mm -hmm. And for different people, a commission broker might be best. Um, for others, a fiduciary who kind of looks at what we call holistic financial uh, planning, yes. which kind of combines the, the tax side, the legal side, the insurance side, maybe the estate planning mm. side, combines all that together to give the most sound advice. I think that's, that's a really important thing for people to consider. Yes, I love that, the fusion of it all. And so share with me what type of education can we expect every other Wednesday with this theme? Yeah, so I think honestly a lot of uh, general financial advice can be applied to kind of both men and women. Mm -hmm. I want to tailor this specifically to those aspects that, that affect women specifically. Okay. Um, one of the, the topics that I think would be important to kind of relay is for women who find themselves suddenly single. So I mean, mm. this could be from uh, a divorce, it could be from um, being widowed, and mm. I think there are a lot of kind of checklists that you need to look at to do yeah. in that scenario to make sure that you're taken care of financially. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so I mean, you have to give us a little nugget and drop <laughs> yeah. a little advice on us today. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, I mean, in the future, we'll, we'll certainly, you know, talk about other aspects too. One of the ones that, that kind of comes to mind is, um, a lot of times, let's say if a, a husband is selecting a pension payout, okay? okay? So a lot of times with a pension, you can choose either a single life payout, a joint life payout, or some combination of the two. So oh. a single life payout will pay out for that husband's entire life until he passes away and then mm -hmm. it stops. A joint life payout pays out for his entire life and his spouse's entire life and then it stops mm -hmm. after she passes away. Mm -hmm. So. The catch right there is that the joint life payout is slightly smaller than the single life payout. Okay. So all of this it really has to be tailored to the individual person to see what is most beneficial for them. Mm -hmm. um, in some cases it's one, in some cases it's the other. So regardless, it's super important to make sure that you chat with a financial advisor and understand mm -hmm. what's going to be the best for you and your family. Yeah, it is so important, especially, you know, you never know what is set up. 
-hmm. you know, and um, for for their advantage. And when that moment happens, it's like, what do you do next? You go to an expert, so you don't have to think about it. Exactly. And so you all offer complimentary consultation. Mm -hmm. So share with us about that, please. Yeah, sure thing. We we try to make it a very low pressure environment when people come in for mm -hmm. a complimentary consultation. So you'll be greeted by our wonderful staff. We have fresh cookies there for you. Yes. And one of the big things we say in that first meeting is, you know, no, no big decisions are made in the mm -hmm. first meeting. It's just for us to really get to know you, understand your financial situation, and start that planning process to see where we can actually help. That's great. And you know, we took you all inside of Foster Financial. So if you did not see that tour and me chatting with Caleb originally, that was on the show last week. So you have to be sure to check that out to learn more. And thank you so much, Caleb, for coming in today. And I'm really excited to see you next week as yeah. we continue to share this wonderful information to our viewers. Yeah, thank you for having me. Yes, absolutely. And as you can see, Foster Financial is equipped and excited to serve the financial needs of women throughout our city. So take advantage of their complimentary consultation and we'll have their contact information listed below. And we'll be right back. This segment sponsored by Foster Financial. Have an idea for the show? Want to find out how you can be a guest? Contact us at livinglocal15 at wayne.com. Go to the Living Local 15 page on wayne.com for recipes from the show, to watch a segment again, and to get information on products and services featured on Living Local 15. Thank you so much for joining me today. And remember to enter into the Winter Spark Challenge. You can find out more information on the library's website. And also, if you want more information about Living Local 15 or to rewatch any episodes, you can head over to Wayne.com's Living Local page or the Wayne app. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you here tomorrow. Bye-bye. Follow us on social media at Living Local 15. Content segments during today's Living Local 15 were paid for by these sponsors.